Hi, welcome to another edition of North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and I would like to introduce my guests today. I have on my right, Rebecca Jackson, and on Rebecca's right, Arthur Athanas. And these two folks are with an organization here in town called Be Healthy Beverly. And for the benefit of our viewers, uh, Rebecca, why don't you tell our viewers what exactly is Be Healthy Beverly? Absolutely, and first of all, thank you so much for having us here. Uh, Be Healthy Beverly is a community coalition that's been around for almost 20 years now, uh, and with a focus on improving the health for the community and the future for Beverly. Uh, it's comprised of a number of different invested and interested community members. So you have students and parents, you have the schools, you have the health department and different government agencies, you have healthcare providers. So it's everybody really coming together for this greater goal. Right. And, and speaking of that, so tell us, uh, Rebecca, what, what is your regular day job outside of Be Healthy Beverly? Absolutely. So I work with the YMCA of the North Shore in Beverly as the director for community programs. Okay. And Arthur? I'm the director of operations at the Greater Beverly Y. At the Greater Beverly Y. And, and I should say, in the interest of full disclosure, that I am also a member of Be Healthy Beverly in my position at BevCam here as a uh, media representative in the interest of uh, Be Healthy Beverly wanting to make sure that there were people from all different facets of the community, uh, whether it's business, police, the health department, uh, so that uh, a lot of different perspectives can be analyzed and brought to bear on, on the issues that, that Beverly faces in terms of what uh, Be Healthy Beverly does. So, um, uh, Rebecca, tell us, what, what is the mission of, of Be Healthy Beverly? So, our goal is to really uh, facilitate uh, sustainable healthcare initiatives, and so we really want to um, create change by reaching out to the youth and also to the community at large, um, and to really empower them to live healthier lives. And that's not only physical health; that that's a much broader um, conversation. And so we want to improve their social emotional health as well, uh, and and we really want to work on reducing and preventing youth substance use. So our two areas. The focus right now are really on underage drinking and tobacco, but I think that it's also a much broader conversation um, apart from just those substances. It's about overall mental health for our community. Right. And uh, I, I will remind our viewers that a couple of weeks ago, I had a, uh, an expert on vaping here right. uh, and that we interviewed. And that is one of the big challenges that I, not only Beverly, but, but mm -hmm. communities all across the country are facing, which is, which is uh, they're substituting uh, uh, tobacco use, cigarette use for, for vaping. And uh, tell us just a little bit about that, uh, Rebecca. Absolutely. So vaping, um, it's an electronic cigarette. Um, and so you have a lot of different names for it, but they're essentially all the same thing. And uh, Juul is one of the brands that is uh, used quite a bit. And so it's a nicotine delivery system. Uh, one Juul pod, for example, has about the same amount of nicotine as an entire pack of cigarettes. Uh, and there's a lot of com confusion for a lot of people. They think maybe it's just water vapor. But in fact, in addition to the nicotine, there are a lot of uh, chemicals that we know um, could cause cancer or harm to people as well. So they're really a real public health concern. Right. A lot of people don't realize that, that, that with, what's burning in there are also these exotic metals that are causing, and then the exotic metals turns into these toxic gases, which along with the nicotine goes into their system. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're, they're getting reports now. They still haven't, exactly. I think the jury is still out on the damage that that, that, that is doing. Now we're... Um, where, if, if, if somebody is interested in either becoming a member or participating, where can our viewers and members of the community find out a little bit more about what Be, uh, Be Healthy Beverly is doing? All right, so I think a great starting point would be to visit our Facebook page. So okay. Be Healthy Beverly has a Facebook page. We talk about past initiatives that we've been a part of uh, and what the group is all about. And we also have monthly meetings. So we meet on the last Wednesday of every single month. And so if you're interested in joining or learning more, uh, I recommend that you reach out to me either via Facebook or you can actually email me directly. My email address is jacksonr at northshoreymca.org. Right, and we'll post that uh, on the the screen and uh, the the meetings the be healthy beverly meetings are, are located centrally here in the high school exactly. our studio is located in the high school so very easy to easy to find now we're, we're going to talk specifically about uh, uh, something that is going to be happening here in beverly in the next couple of weeks and that is the airing of a movie called angst 
and uh, maybe uh, maybe Arthur, I'll let you um, uh, tell us a little bit about Angst. Who is producing it? And and tell us a little bit about this movie, Angst. What is it about? Where, what is it? Who should watch it? And where is it directed? Um, the movie itself deals with anxiety um, in kids, adolescents, teenagers. It also has parents uh, and clinicians in the program itself. It's an hour-long show, and it's extremely well done. It's a powerful piece that has little vignettes of either one person or two people or uh, a child with, their, with a parent talking about their anxieties, what stresses they feel, how they feel, what things they go through um, in different parts of their lives. It could be as a student, as a child, as a parent, as an athlete. Um, there are a number of different perspectives that are offered throughout the hour. Um, and it, it, in the middle uh, of each little vignette, they'll, they'll pop in a clinician that will talk about or have commentary on each and every piece. And it, it does a great job of validating the feelings that people have about anxiety and, and how um, everyone goes about dealing with it, because it's all different. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it really, I think, it opens the door to discussion. And, it, and in some cases, I really felt like it, it bridges the gap between a child and, and a parent in terms of how to talk about it and admitting that you share the same feelings in right, a number of right. different ways. And I think that's important, yeah. And, and before we go on with that a little bit further, let's mm -hmm. let's tell our audience, uh, Rebecca, when is this airing, when and where, what time is, is, the, is the movie, when will it be aired? Absolutely. So we will be offering a free screening at the Cabot Theater in Beverly. Um, the event, uh, the doors open at 6 p.m. and we're going to have the movie, uh, which is about an hour long. And then it's actually going to be followed by a post-film panel discussion. And so we'll have experts uh, and you know clinicians and representatives from the school as well uh, to talk to the audience, to answer any of their questions, and also to share how they felt watching the movie and and how it ties into their day-to-day -day lives as well too. Right. And so this is 6 p.m. on Monday, May 6th, correct? 6 p.m. Monday, May 6th. At the Cabot. At, at the Cabot. And this is, this is produced by an organization called Indie Flicks. And uh, this is being, is this, is this being shown and this being repeated in cities all across the United States with this uh, filming uh, angst? Um, it's been shown around here. I know that Merrimack College has done it, um, and I know that there'll be another showing in early June in Marblehead. The Y is working with the high school um, to show the same thing. I think it's around June 5th or so. Yeah. Um, they'll be showing it at the Y. So similar um, sort of circumstances over there. How many other places it's been shown, I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, two different people uh, brought it to my attention, and uh, Rebecca and I started talking about it, and we thought that this would be a great idea for the Be Healthy right. Beverly right. group. And again, there is no cost, uh, no cost. to mm -hmm. to uh, to come see it. So, uh, Arthur, who who do you think who would you recommend uh, come and see uh, the movie Angst? I think this is a great um, program for kids. Um, it's recommended for ages ten and above, and I think that's. That's great. If someone happens to bring a child that's under 10, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I think that parents will certainly recognize things, but I think parents should see it. I think um, school administrators and teachers should see it, coaches. Um, anyone who works with kids, I think, would absolutely get some value. I think that it will also hit home with things that they feel themselves, um, but it help them identify with certain things that they're going to notice um, with if they're working with children on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people have uh, have trouble with the, with the concept or idea of anxiety. And maybe Rebecca, I can ask you. I mean, what what is anxiety? It's not a mental illness. Uh, you know, it's it, it, everyone has anxiety to mm -hmm. some degree or other. What 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 is anxiety, uh, Rebecca? So anxiety is actually the number one mental health challenge um, in the United States. And so if you look at who it impacts, it impacts about half of all men and women. Um, but the thing is, it's actually something that's very treatable. There are a lot of wonderful tips and solutions to help you manage your own anxiety. But unfortunately, only about a third of people who do suffer from anxiety actually reach out uh, and seek treatment for it and ask for help for it. And so I think, as Arthur mentioned, one of the wonderful things about this film is that it really validates what you're feeling um, because you see other people who are experiencing the same thing. And many of the people in the film have never spoken about their anxiety before. This is the first time they're addressing it in, in a 
the public way. Uh, and so we hope that that encourages people to also reach out and ask for help as well. Yeah. So what, what are the reasons that people don't mention this, that they have anxiety issues? What, why don't people mention it to, to their parents or to their teacher or to their siblings? Why, why is that? So I think it can be a number of different things. Um, I think that having a conversation about anxiety um, and what it is and, and how it affects so many of us is really important because it really helps to normalize it uh, and it helps people to really understand that it's, you know, that it's, a, you know, a, a treatable thing and that it's not just a, a personal choice or a weakness, right? And so if you talk about anxiety and the fact that there is help available for you and it really opens up that sort of global and community-wide conversation, I think that will help people feel more comfortable to actually share their own experiences as well, too. Yeah. And anxiety, you know, uh, is perhaps mis, uh, misinterpreted. Uh, Arthur, you told me an interesting story because one of the people that appears in this movie is is the the the, the world class uh, uh, most medal winner in the Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, Michael Phelps, who suffered from anxiety. Tell tell us a little bit about a part of the movie that that you witnessed. Um, well, I mean, I would assume Michael Phelps is a household name to pretty much everyone, <laughs> um, but. Part of that, the film deals with the fact that he's talking about his own anxieties relative to performance as he was growing up, and he, he became a very high-profile swimmer at a young age. Um, so here, picture this early teen all of a sudden thrown into a world of what I would call adult, you know, high-class, world-class athletes, and you know, as with normal with any kid or any athlete. You want to do well, you want to please people, you want to feel proud, but you're nervous. And that nervousness turns into an anxiety because you're worried about your performance before you even start. And a lot of times in athletics, what they tell you is to stick to the process instead of worrying about the result. Yeah. And it's a way to kind of block out the, the anxiety. Um, if you talk to almost any coach of any sport, yeah. that's what they hear. But uh, in the movie, it, um, I'll try not to be the spoiler, but at the same time, <laughs> they do a great job of speaking with a young boy who is a swimmer, and he's talking about his performance anxieties, and Michael Phelps is, is there, and then they come together in, in a nice way. And, yeah. Now, now, why? I mean, maybe I can throw this question out to both of you. Why, why is it important that, that we as a community talk about anxiety? Rebecca? So I think it's really important to talk about anxiety because... Um, like I said before, it really gets that conversation started. Um, and for this movie, actually, every single person involved in this movie has been touched by anxiety. So not only the students and the parents and um, the clinicians who are in the film, but also the producers and the directors as well, too. And so uh, it really touches everybody's lives in one way or the other. And so if we're talking about it, we're helping to normalize that conversation. Uh, we're helping people to understand that maybe what they're feeling is, is, you know, they're not alone and that they can talk about it and they can ask for help. And so I think that's one of the, the main reasons why it's so important to talk about. Yeah. Arthur, anything to add to that? I, I completely agree. But I think that it's an education process for everybody at, at all levels. I think as, as a person, you learn the more you learn, the more you can identify with your own feelings. And if you have children, you can identify with, with their feelings, and it opens the door to communication. And I think that helps the situation. I mean, something is at the lowest levels, it opens the door to communication. At the highest levels, it, it, it can take you to maybe you need to seek professional help mm -hmm. um, to deal with something that may be more extreme. Yeah. Um, as someone who I see kids every day, all day, um, and I... I Happen to, I travel with a lot of the Y swim team kids, to, and I've seen them for years and years, my own kids included, how they really get nervous, they get anxious about where they are, what they're doing, and they want to do well. Uh, and being able to deal with that, that nervous anxiety, that nervous energy, um, is hugely important to me because your self-awareness and the discussion kind of part of the process just leads to everybody feeling a little better. Yeah. Now, we mentioned earlier, but I'd like to, I'd like to um, delve into it a little bit more. We mentioned that there will be a couple of experts. There will be a panel discussion 
uh, after the the viewing of, of the movie. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Who who will be p who participating and what, what the purpose of that panel discussion is and what can the community expect to get out of that? Absolutely. So we have a number of different experts, and so those experts are clinicians as well as representatives from the school, uh, and they're going to be available directly after the film to answer any questions that the audience might have. And so we'll have a moderator who will ask them to react to the film, what they've seen in the film, and how it relates to what they see in their lives, either at a school or uh, in their own personal life as well, too, or maybe as a parent, um, and then really opening it up to questions so uh, people will We'll have the opportunity to ask questions directly or if they are you know shy about asking the question we can write it down and we can have anonymous questions uh, and then in addition to the panel we will also have some tables with some experts with so that people can have some one-on-one -on -one conversations as well too yeah yeah I was gonna ask you can you tell us a bit more about what other resources will be available uh, in addition to the panel discussion well we'll have a, in the back of the cabinet we'll have a table with be healthy Beverly information and each one of these experts and any other, we've opened the door to a number of different organizations to provide information that would be available there. Um, so that for someone who may not feel comfortable asking a question either anonymously or publicly, they can either speak to someone on the side or they can grab the information and, and then address it as, right. when they leave in the privacy right. of their home. And again, this is a free event. So mm -hmm. let, let's give our audience again, uh, let's tell them what, where it's happening and when it's happening, uh, Rebecca. Absolutely. So the free screening of Angst is going to be happening on May 6th at the Cabot Theater at 6 p.m. That's a Monday night. It's a Monday night. Monday exactly. night. I think that's two weeks from this past. Uh, as we sit here, this is, uh, this is what, the Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, all right. Uh, and it is a free event. It's a free event. Completely right? free. And, uh, and everybody in the community is invited to, uh, uh, to participate. And again, if, if um, uh, anybody wants more information on Be Healthy Beverly, mm -hmm. uh, they can g give, give us your contact information again and maybe the, the, the Facebook page again? Absolutely, so Be Healthy Beverly has a Facebook page and you can reach out to me directly through the Facebook page and there's information on how to register for the event as well and just information about the event in general on the Facebook page and then if somebody wants to reach out to me directly, my email address is jacksonr at northshoreymca.org. Jackson R at NorthShoreYMCA.org. Okay, and we'll have that up. Well, I want to I want to thank uh, you for for being here. Thank my guests Rebecca Jackson uh, and Arthur Thanis uh, from uh, Be Healthy uh, Beverly. And I'd like to remind uh, my viewers that you've been watching North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and we'll see you next time.